very solid gold laner. Someone to dive and threaten the gold laner, and someone to just completely annihilate him with like, like an assassin pick. So I think Kadida can serve that purpose, but now we're straight back into the land of Dawn, Mirko. Well, once again, ladies and gentlemen, we're jumping into the land of Dawn, where Indonesia is trying to equalize, and Cambodia are trying to secure the grand final position with Dreams already. Very aggressively moving into the enemy jungle, taking a whole lot of damage here as Danger rotates as well. It's first blood before the first minute of the game. Cambodia are on fire. Bit of a disaster trying to get information on a Kadita. Very, very squishy. Yes, you have the blessing of the ocean, but you need to survive for that to actually work out. And by the way, speaking of security, three purifies on oh the side of Cambodia. Man. They are not having any crowd control issues whatsoever. They want to be able to do whatever they want, and they have enough mobility to make that happen without those sprints. So the purifies will mean that Indonesia needs to be very wise in how they want to use these skills. Oh, T still able to get out. Going to be taken down by Hiju, man. That's a trade back on the board. Both the roamers already falling here early in the game. But I do feel like, again, in terms of that mid control, this Yeev with the Kadita will definitely have a bit of an edge. Clearing out the waves a bit faster to rotate and to provide more help across the side lanes. If they roam S3 along with Taz on the Akai, they actually have more advantage. But look at this dive. Oh, Lutsu, too aggressive. Gonna be taken down, punished, and that's the real world manipulation what? as well. A very aggressive play from Cambodia, but oh, this Taz? time it might be too aggressive as Taz jumps in with a heavy spin, instantly knowing where Boom is. The Furious Dive as well from Psychos to pick up the kill and to take the lead in Game 2. They have the pressure and now they can go for the Turtle because for Cambodia, this Faramis can save some of their members from the big burst damage, but hang on, as we say that though, that is Deja picking up a kill onto Psychos. Definitely not what Indonesia wants, but there we go, Turtle secured for Indonesia in minute number two. It's still just a very slow game now that the action has happened early on, Arashi. Both teams will be waiting for the neutral objectives. They don't really want to go for anything too crazy, but just as I say it, Lutu will be caught for the second time in this game. And this time it's by Dreams, who's taking it a bit personally, that first kill. And you can see as well, Brands just having a good time on that Melissa against the Aerith though. Breath of Ocean popped in, OP gonna be sandwiched by Indonesia. Oh. The real world inflation as well, forcing OP to ultimate, to use that ultimate to get out of the range. It's still OP who can survive, who can still get out, but look at the waves. Very disadvantageous for Cambodia. It's pushing in towards Indonesia, and Brands is just letting it push. Wave clear advantage for Indonesia and fight skirmish advantage for Cambodia. Unless, as we talked about, Dreams can actually start having that pick-off gameplay. He was able to destroy, delete Lutu, who is a fighter in the early game. So that definitely is not what Cambodia wants. They are grouping at the bottom side though. There might be a big fight building up here. As they're just waiting there, trying to counter engage on the po possible dive towards OP. This is what you come to expect. They want to make sure that OP does not get shut down. He is the main win condition. But here, so far, Brands has been able to find a whole lot of success in the lane, getting a whole lot of gold. And with the help of Hijume right here, with that real-world manipulation constantly, it's just so difficult. And you can see as well the rotations from the XP laner, opting to actually leave that XP lane. Dream spotted out by T, and Psychots even cancelled that recall. Got cancelled by T. High loss, having a better time in that XP lane again, just soaking in as much gold as possible, while Taz is actually going to be the one gifted the job to handle or to match up against that high loss. Grants now has secured the bulk of that, well, almost the whole thing, the whole turret gold. And with that momentum, Indonesia rotates their top side at the opportune moment, going for the turtle, but there might be a fight here because they are backing away. Oh, that's a very good engage again by Dreams. Lutu taken off, and that's Taz who secures the turtle. Ooh. Deja all alone pops the cold altar to survive, but a pin down from Taz is there. Deja with the Purify still able to get out with the real world. Inflation will be able to lock him down for the kill to be handed over to Hijume. The pickoff game from Dreams, man. This is what you've come to expect. It's dangerous and it needs to be respected, but Brands will be taken out. Opi is actually getting a bit more momentum back here. And Indonesia might want to just try and funnel a bit more attention because it's going well so far. Why stop here? Yeah, 3,000 gold lead already. Taz also was able to steal away the purple buff. Now, 
Lutu is two levels behind of Taz on a hero that you would really optimally want to go snowball early on, right? You want to get as much uh, as possible on this Leomord. And if you get to that later stage, you are going to fall off quite pretty badly, actually. Well, Dreams right now, though, already having the Clock of Destiny scaling towards that late game. Hejime with the Ice Queen's wand will mean that for Cambodia, escape is going to be a very difficult situation as Oppi again is the target. So much damage to the pin as well. The Purify comes in to save Oppi for a bit with a hard guard, but he is going to be taken down by Brands with Ooh. the dolls. Deja with the Cult Altar getting out. Brands is securing that tier one down below and moving back. Indonesia now. Invading the enemy jungle and Lutu has no say whatsoever to what's happening in his jungle. Taz is now three levels ahead. Psychots is zoning Lutu away. Has a black dragon for him to get out as Taz jumps in. Gets the damage down as Dreams. Looks for the follow up now. Tier 1 gonna be taken down in mid lane. Boom, still having the gl glorious pathway. Can get out. And Indonesia decides to play the discipline game this time. Backing off, not overextending as they did in game one. If Indonesia maintains this discipline and plays with that vision, they have so many tools to start off that pick of gameplay. And for now, at least until later on in the game, the members from Cambodia are going to be way too squishy to push into a Yiv, a Kadita, as well as a Yu Zong. This early game is very strong from Indonesia, and they are completely abusing it to go for the purple buff, it seems, right now, because Boom is taken very low with the real ventilation, almost taken out, flickers away. And I think Indonesia will be able to secure this purple buff. That's a sad day for Lutu on the Cambodian side. The gold lead is just building again, slowly but surely, towards Indonesia as they are suffocating Lutu, especially in this jungle. But the entire Cambodian team is just not having a good time here in the first seven minutes. You know, Indonesia came back from a similar kind of position here. You can already Ooh. see again that ambush over Lutu, trying to find some compensation. Dreams of the Conceal, still able to down jump away. Dreams! Finally taken down with the Phantom Steed by Lutu. Psychots might be next. Brought back to the team. Has the Furious Dive. Now gonna be caught still. Serves staining for a bit. But Lutu finds that double kill, putting them on the board. And finally, Lutu has found two kills here. Finally found some compensation, a way to turn the tides back around. Gold the, uh, difference just swinging back here. It was up to 6.5k, I believe. Now down to 5k, more or less. But this is what we talked about for Indonesia. They have the chance to make the place happen, but the longer it goes, the more it goes towards the mid game. They need to understand that Cambodia will start grouping up with each other and they need to make plays as uh five -oh. as a top side though. Brands make a play. Wow, Brands instantly just jumps in. 2v1 doesn't even need the help of Taz. A good read by Brands and a very good Honestly, instinct by him, knowing exactly the limits of Melissa and how much he can take. Pops that go away perfectly as Lutu jumps in to knock him back. And Deja's gonna be caught as well here. Pops the call Alter for safety, but will just lose that HP bar instantly. With the rough waves popped in and the purple buff targeted, Indonesia have taken the lead back into their hands. That grasp is as strong as ever. Brands was able to make that play happen and swing momentum back. He is, by the way, three levels. Well, not two, two now, but he was earlier three levels ahead of OP, and that shows again the game plan of the Indonesians. Destroy that gold lane, let Brands carry, and shot down OP in one fell swoop. It's working very well so far, but we've seen that Cambodia has been able to come back from the situation. They need to stay disciplined and make sure that they don't leave any window available for Cambodia to get some foot back into the game. And now with that Lord taken away, they go straight back into the jungle looking for more victims to pick off. Here. Indonesia again opening up the side of the map here. Boom gonna be caught with Furious Dive has the glorious pathway to Ooh. escape. That real world manipulation almost took him down. But Indonesia will just pull back. Again, they got the lore. They don't need to go for anything too aggressive. Giving the orange buff over to Brands and securing just that lead, backing off, playing it disciplined. We talked about having different tools of engaging, by the way. Furious that petrify, uh, Breath of the Ocean petrify, and the Heavy Spin. So many things for the members of Cambodia to watch out for, especially if you're OP. You know that the Indonesians has their eyes on you, and at every moment, someone might come up from the sides. It could be the Kadita, it could be the Akai, the Yuzong, or even that real world manipulation to just screw over your chances of having that impact in those team fight. and Indonesia is absolutely abusing it. 
Taz finding a good pin down onto Boom with the help of the real world inflation, but the call Ultra is placed down there, only for him to get silenced as that's Oppy again in the back Ooh. line. It's taken so low, but a pass it from Psychots. Brands picks up a mega kill, and it's a 2 4 0. Indonesia in that skirmish finding everything they need to look for the end right now. Deja looking for it. Oppy gonna be taken very low, taken down by Taz as he jumps forward with Retribution as well. T bursted down, and the base is wide open in 10 minutes. Indonesia equalized. Wow, all the fighters, all the squad.